Louisa, I'm one of the doctors working with the autism assessment team. My name is Hannah and I'm the assistant psychologist in the autism assessment team. So I think the most important thing is to not make assumptions about um, a person's preferences and actually asking the person themselves what might be most comfortable for them or what might be most helpful um, is often a really good place to start. The research and the young people kind of um, share that they prefer identity first language um, which, which would mean autistic people and this is because they feel that autism is kind of like inherent part of who they are and it can't be separated. Yeah, so when we think about kind of autism being like a straight scale, we think about kind of autism ranging from mild autism to severe autism. And well, mild autism was historically also known as high functioning autism or Asperger's and that kind of like the end of the spectrum is not really helpful, which is why we now, nowadays we moved onto the, the color spectrum because it, it really helps us kind of identify some well, people's strengths and needs, whereas when we think about the scale, we're thinking about if someone's high functioning or if, if they have Asperger's, we, we, kind of, we can perceive it as maybe they need less support or they're not getting the support that they might need because it's often missed. But then when we think about the severe autism, we're not really giving people agency in their own care. The research really indicates that it's time to move on from that outdated model and try to use terms that are a little bit more helpful.